the Royal Enfield Pegasus finally went on sale yesterday and created a sales record of sorts by selling all the models online in less than 3 minutes. The sales of the bike started yesterday on the company's website and all 250 units allocated for India were gone in a flash. Globally, Royal Enfield will manufacture only 1000 units of the Pegasus. Priced at 2,40,000 rupees, it is the most expensive Royal Enfield motorcycle till date and harks back to the Flying Flea motorcycles which were used by the British soldiers in World War II. The Royal Enfield Pegasus uses the same engine as the Classic 500 which is a 499cc single cylinder unit that makes 27 brake horsepower and 41 Nm of peak torque. Porsche has taken the wraps of the 2019 Macan facelift and this comes 4 years after it was launched in 2014. The Macan facelift features a new design which is inspired from the new generation Cayenne which is all set to be launched in India later this year. It now gets updated styling along with updates to the interiors and the features. It now gets an 11-inch touchscreen Porsche communication management system, GT Sport steering wheel and other updates as well. Although the exact technical specifications are yet to be revealed, expect the current engine options to get a boost. The Macan facelift will first be launched in China this month with other markets receiving the SUV later. Since 2014, Porsche has sold over 3,50,000 units of the Macan with over 1 lakh units being sold in China alone. Sergio Marchioni, the former chief executive officer of Fiat Chrysler and the main man behind the company's resurrection, has died. He was 66 years old. His health had declined suddenly following complications from a shoulder injury which took place about a week ago. He was appointed as the CEO of Fiat in 2004 and had completely turned the fortunes of the company around, saving it from bankruptcy. Known for his no-nonsense style of leadership, Marchioni also happened to save Chrysler from bankruptcy after Fiat bought over the company in October 2014. Mike Manley, the chief executive of Jeep and Dodge brands, has been announced as the replacement for Sergio by the company. McLaren has officially named its upcoming hypercar, which was codenamed BP23, as the Speed Tail. Calling it a Hyper GT car, the new Speed Tail will be the latest addition to McLaren's Ultimate Series cars, which have so far given birth to the electric assist hypercar, the P1, and the track focused Senna. The McLaren Speed Tail will be officially unveiled by the end of 2018 and will have a top speed of 391 km per hour. Expect it to be considerably faster than both the P1 and the Senna. The exact technical details are yet to be announced. If you like this video and you like what we do, well, you've got to simply subscribe to our channel. We'll keep things simple yet comprehensive.